This is a classic clock problem and we are going to find out the measure of the smaller angle between the hands of an analog clock at 5.23, that's 23 minutes past 5. In other words, we are trying to find out the measure of this angle. Before we can get to our main problem of finding the angle between the hands of an analog clock, let's try to find out a few things. We need to know exactly what angle is sweeped by the minute hand every minute and what angle is sweeped by the hour hand every minute. So in our picture, the black hand is the hour hand and the red hand is the minute hand. So let's start with the minute hand. Let's say we are interested in finding out we are interested in finding out the angle sweeped by the minute hand, the red hand, ignore the black hand for now, every single minute. Now, one can easily see that in 15 minutes, the minute hand sweeps an angle of 90 degrees. In 15 minutes, the minute hand sweeps an angle of 90 degrees, and by sweeps, we mean this angle. Now, if the minute hand sweeps an angle of 90 degrees every 15 minutes, if you just take 90 and divide it by 15, you're going to get 6 degrees. So we're concluding that the minute hand sweeps an angle of 6 degrees every 1 minute. Let's do a very similar kind of math with the hour hand. Now, we know that the hour hand sweeps an angle of 30 degrees. By the way, we are looking at the we are looking at the black hand. We know that the hour hand sweeps an angle of 30 degrees. By the way, this is 30 because 30 plus another 30 plus another 30 is going to make your 90. So, we know the hour hand sweeps an angle of 30 degrees every 60 minutes. So take your 30 degrees divided by 60 and you're going to get 0 0.5 degrees. So we're going to claim that the hour hand sweeps an angle of 0.5 degrees every minute. Those are the two facts that we need to keep straight. And here they are. The first one, every minute the minute hand sweeps an angle of 6 degrees and every minute the hour hand sweeps an angle of 0.5 degrees. Now these two facts will help us find the angle between the hands of uh, an analog clock at any given time. What we have here is the same question with the two facts that we learned on the previous slides that the minute hand sweeps an angle of 6 degrees every minute and the hour hand sweeps an angle of 0.5 degrees every minute. So how do we calculate this angle? You can do it in a variety of ways. So let's try to do it in a in a in a kind of a unique or different way. Okay? So we do know that this angle, my picture is not perfect, but let's try to make it a little nicer. We do know one thing. This angle between the two pink rays is 90 degrees. If we can find this angle, let's use red, and this angle, let's use green, and subtract the two angles from 90, we have our answer. How do we find this angle, the red angle? Let's try that. Okay, the minute hand has moved how many minutes? 8 minutes. When it was here at 3, it was 15, then it moved 8 more minutes. Okay, the minute hand sweeps 6 degrees every minute, so in 8 minutes it's going to sweep 48 degrees, so this has to be 48. This has to be 48 degrees, because the minute hand sweeps 6 degrees every minute, 
in 8 minutes it's going to sweep 6 times 8, 48 degrees. What about the other hand? Which is a little tricky, but I think we'll get to it. Okay, the other hand is here, from here to here. It took the other hand 23 minutes. So it's going to take the other hand 37 minutes to go from here to here. The other hand will move or sweep this green angle in 37 minutes. Exactly 37 minutes. So what kind of angle would it sweep in 37 minutes? Every minute the other hand sweeps 0.5 degrees. So in 37 minutes it's going to sweep 37 times 5, uh, times 0.5 which turns out to be 18.5 degrees. So the green angle has to be 18.5 and the red angle is 48. So from 90 we're going to subtract to get our final answer of this angle in pink. We're going to subtract from 90 we're going to subtract 48 plus 18 0.5. And whatever the answer is, that's going to be our solution. And which turns out to be 23.5. So that's our answer. 23.5 degrees. Pretty accurate too. This angle is 23.5 degrees.